a new product here that's uh, pretty interesting here it's called trucker visor side sun visor and um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here uh, it's just a new truck in and out block it out and block the sun out what you do is you can take do it like this here put it up against your window and then push it up up into the um, part right here of the window slide it up and I'll show you here in a minute but uh, block sun glare block sun and glare reduces heat exposure and ease eye strain so you can block it you can just slide it up into the window jam or up into the window but I'll show you here in a minute how that works here in just a minute here's just a little piece of cardboard um, right here is the web address truckvisor.com and it shows is it, uh, also it uh, see video demonstration on website so and it's made in the USA which is a good thing and it's just one so it's single just one in here it says right there single and um, this right here is the product right here let's see what it looks like it's even got right here on it it's even got sunvisor.com but I'm going to show you here how to make this right here work what you do here is put it against the window and you can slide it up into this crevice here you can do it this way or you can do it like this however you know however you want that way whenever you stick it up in there it'll hold and you can use this for cars too but also I don't like really sticking it up in here in case I need to let my window down so what I do is I come over here and right here where the door is where it slides right up into the door I'll set it right up in there like that or you know do it so it, it will go back here into the rubber piece of the door when the sun's shining right here or you can just bring it around like this it's just a really good place to put it right here in this corner that way you can just bring it up this way or bring it down or if you have to you can put it over here also it's uh, you know it's slideable in here see you can just slide it you can just slide it down and um, and it's just a good place you can do it this way do it like that in case you know and it's not in the way of your mirror here you still got your mirror there so you know it's still a pretty good place to put it right there and uh, I like it over here because you know most of the time the sun's gonna come here in the way and uh, but whenever it goes on down in the west when it goes down in the west and you're traveling uh, you can just bring it down and it's still not in the way of the mirror so um, I really like that a lot like that right there and I think it's very interesting to have this as a handy um, tool a little gadget I normally take my pillow here my pillow and um, another thing is I take my pillow and I'll uh, I'll take uh, rub my window down about, about, about that much and I'll take my pillow and I'll put these two right here in there like this like that take my head pillow and then I can just you know when the sun shines I can you know push it up do it like this just have those up like that that way you got your window cracked and you got this up and it's blocking the sun like this and then you just push it over and just push it down the line however you need to and then if the sun goes to shining you can just drop it you can just have one up in there like this and then if it's shining down here somewhere you can sort of block it like that I think it's awesome to have that like that to have the pillow also but I, I use the head pillow for that too but um, that's all for the truckers advisory
and I appreciate y'all if you would subscribe and thumbs up. It helps my channel out. Thank you very much, and I'll be sending more videos soon. Y'all have a blessed day now. Folks, this right here is the two tools that I use to try to get this lock right here. It was froze. I drove all the way from New, New Jersey all the way to Chicago, Illinois. I went through a storm, and when I did, this little gadget right here, this aloe, this is a 340 aloe lock, which is, has the moon shape key. And that's what I used and I had to take that torch here you can lock it if you want you take this right here and lock it like it you can pull this down push this over You have your two hands. There you go. One hand do it. Two there. And you take that and heat this part right here up in there. Along with heating all this up and try to heat these tumblers up in here. And that's what will get that lock and take a hammer. You can tell I took a hammer on this side of the lock, trying to take a two pound hammer and hit this, trying to get it to break loose. And finally it broke loose, but it took about 15 minutes. It was nine degree weather, freezing cold, almost froze to death, <laughs> trying to get this lock off, drove that far. My advice, I was in a place where uh, it was very unsafe so I put the lock on because all it was was just a little old, little old plastic uh, seal on the back of the trailer. So I didn't trust the area, so I put this lock on, and I should have took it off before I left. Well, drive to a safe place. If you have to go up the road, uh, even 100 miles or whatever, uh, get to a safe place, another truck stop, up, pull up to the fuel station, and uh, just take this lock off and, you know, keep on going. Um, do something that's you know a safe place other than where you're at because you don't ever know somebody's gonna knock you in the head if you if you're sitting in a bad place that's why you put the lock on the first place but anyway uh, it's best during winter treacherous weather freezing rain this lock right here or any lock this is the one I use but any lock um, will freeze up so it's best you know to be in a, in, a, in a safe place, put the lock on, then whenever you start to leave or, you know, if it's daylight, you can go back there, look around you, make sure everything's good, no nobody hanging around, take the lock off, go back to where you need to go to get the load where it needs to. And, um, and if you feel like you're going into another bad place, you need to put this lock back in in place like on the trailer but if it's freezing cold weather i'm telling you now that lock's gonna be hard to get off of there uh, that one was i was having a very difficult time even heating it up because it was froze and i was in you know real low single digit temperatures after i got out of pennsylvania and ohio it was single it was single digits all the way rain snowing and that lock was really, I mean, it was froze. It was froze solid. Well, I was just trying to bring this to your attention about um, truckers out locking or anybody out locking 
any kind of lock, uh, how to get these things here unlocked, um, which you already know that by all means, but I'm just bringing it to your attention to have one of these. You can buy these little torches at Walmart. Uh, you can buy it at the truck stop, a hardware store. Just buy one of these little small ones. It's refillable. You can refill it and it tells you that gives you all the description you need to know, the warning, and all that kind of good stuff. But um, my advice to you, get, have one of those on your truck in the winter time, uh, and that way you can get yourself, um, get your lock unlocked if you have one on your trailer, and left it forgotten, left it on there during the treacherous winter storms and rain and snow and such. Well, that's all for this video. If you like it, thumbs up. Thanks very much. I'm going to add this to my next video, so it'll just be an add-in on my next video. Thank you very much. Y'all have a blessed day now. Well, good morning, folks. I just want to tell you I was here in Illinois, and this, this video is about putting locks on a trailer when it's freezing cold weather. I'm getting unloaded. That's why my trailer's, my truck's jiggling. Uh, I'm getting unloaded here. But uh, I put a lock on my trailer back where I was at, back in New Jersey. And I put a lock on my trailer. I got here, I almost froze to death. <laughs> my fingers are plumb numb. I couldn't get the lock unlocked on my trailer. So had one of them tandem locks and the little oval shaped moon shaped key I couldn't get unlocked well I, luckily last year I bought one of those little small torches portable torches and I took the torch back there and I had to stick it in the keyhole and let the little flame heat it up well, that took a few minutes during the meantime, it's 11 degrees here. It was very cold. My fingers was numb. <laughs> I was very cold. And I had gloves on, but it, you know, it was just one of them situations. So, uh, even after heating it up, I was still having problems trying to get the lock to unlock. So I ended up having to get a hammer and sort of beat the lock trying to get it unlocked and that didn't work so I had to heat it up more and more it took about five ten minutes to get the lock off the trailer but finally I heated up hot enough and the tumblers in there or the way that key mechanism worked to get that water heated up I'm mean, gonna get the ice heated up that's in there and then get the uh, ice to melt and then I could turn it Finally, I got it so it would turn, and finally, I ended up getting the lock unbroke. But uh, you're gonna have to have that's one thing you gotta have in the winter months, and you know, you gotta have that little torch, a small torch. Uh, and you get in a truck stop, I think it's like 30 bucks or something to get one. Uh, I got one, and I got a, a two pound hammer. And so that's what I use to be able to get that lock off. So my advice is if you go somewhere and you park somewhere like I did, I parked uh, in a place that was very, not, you know, I just didn't trust the area. So I put a lock on it. I should have took the lock back off whenever I was getting ready to go, but I didn't. So advice to you is if you get somewhere, park somewhere, put the lock on, then take the lock back off whenever you start going down the road because I'm telling you it's you know in, in treacherous weather like this it's uh, it's very difficult to get that lock off uh, to get it unlocked I don't know about like master lock or any of those I just used the one that the company gave me so um, the lock is it's very difficult to get undone to get loosened if, if the if the weather's done got bad on the way during the transit time and freezes up, you're going to have difficult getting it off of there. Um, so, 
I guess that's all for this video. I was just trying to give a warning heads up on on a frozen lock. <laughs> well, if you like this kind of thing and like the video, thumbs up and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day and safe one. Thank you very much.